question is, will PBC interfere with the climax of this fight? And truth be told, it's actually more than likely. And don't act like you haven't been thinking about it like I have. Bruce, what are you talking about? In case you haven't figured it out, PBC, you know, has been known to do certain things to keep their fighters on top. Keep in mind, it's not just PBC. All of these guys do it. It's just I think PBC is under the scope a little bit more and it's more easier to call out for whatever reason. Wink, wink. But um, yeah, it's more than likely it's going to be some interference. But of course, Bruce, what do you mean? Just like when you've seen in the Deontay Tyson Fury fight, the ref giving, um, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder extra time to recover, whatever and whatnot. Keep in mind, you just seen the Roley Romero fight where truthfully he lost, you know, and a premature stopped the fight just to secure a win for Roley Romero. We already know that was an inside job. It's nothing new. So the question you have to ask yourself, and it has to have passed your mind, what kind of things are they going to implement to ensure Errol Spence wins? Because it's definitely going to be there. All right. And my thing is this. I don't think that there's much that they can do to help make sure he wins outside of, and this is why I say it could be anticlimactic, outside of saving Errol Spence with the whole branding clause. Like the branding clause, that's one of the things that I'm so glad that I brought up because we would be able to understand a lot of this. And until me, nobody told me about the branding clause. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I found out about the branding clause because a friend of mine at the gym, he's friends with Conor McGregor's manager. And this is how I knew about the branding clause and how Floyd Mayweather was not going to be able to not, uh, to not Conor McGregor out cold. And I told people this before the fight even happened. And then people seen it in real time. The fight was stopped before McGregor could be out on his ass. And this is why I'm saying that the fight could be anticlimactic because I'm pretty sure they're going to implement the same thing for Errol Spence. Is Errol Spence getting in trouble like that? They'll stop the fight before Terrence Crawford get him out there or get him in an embarrassing position where a whole bunch of people could click a whole bunch of pictures and had a big fish scrolled off across the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like some tilapia in a skillet. You know, they're not going to have that because that's part of Brandon Claus now. It's the same Brandon Claus that keep Jake Paul from getting knocked out how he's supposed to. It's the same protection thing. So that's why I say it's a possibility. We might not get the knockout that we deserve. They might stop that fight before it even goes down that road. And if it does, I promise you, I'm done with boxing. I promise. I want the knockout that I deserve. Don't cheat me. Hey, and that goes both ways. If Terrence Crawford get in trouble or whatever and whatnot, don't stop. Let him go down. This is what I'm paying for. This is what I want. I don't want to see nobody saved or none of that. I don't want to see none of that. But messing with PBC nine times out of 10, that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, you could pretend to act like that. This wasn't on your mind just like mine, but I know it was, you know, and I think especially if Errol Spence want to attempt to keep boxing after this i don't know what kind of contract he has with al Heyman. they're going to have to preserve his brand if they want to keep stretching him out because they can't let crawford just go in there and obliterate him just look how they acting with the press conference hmm look look how everybody's walking on the eggshells let's not reveal that errol spence was ducking let's that and crawford going with it so we might not get the knockout that the fans deserve i just had to put it out there like, comment, subscribe, or bye.